So this clip is on STM and it comes on the back of a clip I made previously on sensory memory with one on LTM in the pipeline. So check out my YouTube channel to see those two. A distinguishing feature of STM as opposed to the sensory store or LTM is that it is an active system. The sensory store simply registers environmental input some of which we'll attend to and then actively process this in our short-term store. On the other hand our LTM is a passive store it contains me semantic memories, episodic memories etc all of which is not currently part of our consciousness until our short-term memory provides it with a cue and retrieves that information and actively works on it. So our SDM is the seat of our consciousness. It deals with the present by rehearsing information that we've attended to from our sensory store and also working on that information, like I said before, that's been retrieved on from our LTM so that we can work on it, process it, manipulate it, etc. So in order to transfer information from STM to LTM, we need to rehearse that information elaboratively so that we can encode that information semantically in our LTM and then we can cue that memory, retrieve it, put it in our sensory memory and again process it when required. A distinguishing feature of STM as opposed to the other two memory stores, sensory and LTM, is the limitations in terms of how much STM can hold and how long it can hold it. So Miller, famous for his experiments of the capacity of STM, came up with a magic number of 7 plus or minus 2, i.e. 5 to 9 bits of information. So if we were viewing images presented individually in, say, two-second intervals, we'd be able to hold on to the first, say, seven items, and then when we got to about the eighth item, dartboard, the STM would literally filter out memory of the cherry. And then when we got to the ninth item, we'd lose the first one on the list, again the capsicum, and so on. Various experiments have been done on the duration of STM, and basically, unless we can actually keep the information in mind by using maintenance rehearsal, then the information will be displaced after about 18 to 20 seconds. So just because we pay attention to information and process it in our STM, not all of it will be successfully encoded and stored in our LTM. Much of it will be displaced or simply decay. Another distinguishing feature of STM, as opposed to the other two memory stores, is the manner in which information is processed, sensory memory, Information's in its raw form, unprocessed, in LTM, it's processed semantically. And in STM, majority of the information is processed phonetically or acoustically. Some of it, of course, can be visualised. If we are endeavouring to increase the capacity of STM, we can chunk smaller bits of information into larger groups. So for digits, we can take a series of individual digits and chunk these into double digit, triple digit in order to increase that capacity beyond that normal five to nine bits of information. In order to increase the duration of STM beyond that standard 18 to 20 seconds, we can use maintenance rehearsal by simply vocalising or sub-vocalising the information, which is often what we do when someone tells us, say, a phone number or a password, etc. We keep saying it over and over again, making sure we don't get distracted. We get our hands on a pen and a paper, we write it down and then it's gone.